Wisconsin football and basketball are always the main topics in Bucky's Breakfast, Land of 10's Daily Badgers Notebook but we cover news, notes and analysis across Badgers sports. Join us each morning to get caught up on everything you missed in the world of Wisconsin football, recruiting, basketball and more. Wisconsin freshman Jonathan Taylor has been dynamic in his first season, but as ESPN's Dan Murphy explains, the running back knows he's not close to a finished product. Wisconsin got all 19 of its commitments for 2018 to sign on Wednesday. In our latest recruiting notebook, we take a look at the impact the early signing period can have on the 2019 class and beyond. For a fourth straight year, former Badgers coach Bo Ryan is among the candidates nominated for induction into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Ryan has been a finalist each of the last three years. For the first time since mid-October, Wisconsin will have a healthy Dakota Dixon at safety when the Badgers face Miami in the Orange Bowl, writes Jeff Patrikas of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. The success of Taylor in his first year on campus is not the way things usually work at Wisconsin. As Jesse Temple writes, rarely do true freshmen make an immediate impact, but more often than not that way to get playing time pays off for the Badgers and the player. Former Wisconsin coach Gary Anderson lasted less than three years at Oregon State before resigning midseason, but the man who went 19-7 in two seasons with the Badgers could have a new job lined up. Football Scoop reported on Thursday that Anderson is a strong candidate to join SMU as its defensive coordinator. More, want this roundup in your inbox every morning? Sign up here. Despite going 12-1 this season, the Badgers have struggled when it comes to holding onto the ball. Now, they face a turnover-hungry Miami squad in the Orange Bowl. To say ball security has been a focus in bowl prep would be an understatement, writes Jason Galloway. Wisconsin signed 19 scholarship players on the first day of the early signing period, but the Badgers also had seven preferred walk-ons join the program. One of those was quarterback Nate Carter, who grew up less than 15 miles from Camp Randall Stadium Indiana Wanakee and had an exciting Wednesday. Former Wisconsin outside linebacker Joe Schaubert believes being named an alternate for the NFL's Pro Bowl shows he's on the right track with the Cleveland Browns. The Wisconsin volleyball team has been very good for some time, but coach Kelly Sheffield believes his program has a chance to become elite in the near future. Miss a previous edition of Bucky's Breakfast? Get caught up here.